26 million people in the U.S. have diabetes, and about 95% of those patients have type 2 diabetes, or what's called adult-onset diabetes, meaning it most often occurs in adults. Diabetes is the seventh leading cause of death in the U.S., so the question is, is type 2 diabetes reversible? I don't like the term reversible because of that predisposition that you have, so it's always something that's with you, but it can go into remission. Dr. Ronald Tamler is the clinical director of the Mount Sinai Diabetes Center in New York City. Diabetes in remission means that um, the person uh, who used to have high blood sugars that were abnormal now has normal blood sugars um, without being on medications. So how do you turn back the clock? You can't control your genetic risk, but you can control changing your lifestyle. Eating differently. Um, exercising more, more physical activity. But it can't just be a diet of two or three months. It has to be that the way you live your life changes completely. Like smaller portion sizes and healthier foods. But Tamler warns that keeping diabetes at bay is a lifelong struggle. It may come back over time if you start slipping. So if you have diabetes type two, you have it for life, so to speak? You are at risk for even if it's in remission, you are at risk for getting it later on in life again if the lifestyle changes don't stick. And those lifestyle changes are also key to stopping pre-diabetes in its tracks. One third of all Americans are pre-diabetic and don't even know it. Pre-diabetes is not by itself a disease. It's just a condition where you say, okay, there's a much higher risk for developing diabetes. The risk for developing diabetes from prediabetes is between 10% up to 30% per year. But you can cut that risk in half without any medication, by exercise and diet. Because if you have too many carbohydrate-rich foods, you're putting yourself at risk for high blood sugar and complications, such as heart attack, stroke, blindness, and amputation. So the key is eating right. One of the things we recommend to do so is what's called the plate method. Andrea Rumschlag is a registered dietitian at the Cleveland Clinic. And you want to look at half of your plate being fruits and vegetables, mostly non-starchy vegetables, the other quarter of your plate being a whole grain that's high in fiber, and then the other quarter of your plate being a lean protein. It's important to remember that carbohydrates in general are not the enemy. The key is picking the right ones and how much. One of the tricks that I teach my patients if they want to lose weight is to buy smaller plates. If you buy nine inch dinner plates, and they have them anywhere, everywhere, you can buy them, um, you will feel like you're eating more. You will not pack as much on. Also, if you think you might be pre-diabetic, Dr. Tamler suggests taking a diabetes risk test at the American Diabetes website. That's at diabetes.org. It takes just a few minutes and it could save your life. With Everyday Health, I'm Taryn Winterbrill.